Hi guys, it's Jeannie here. Wanted to do this uh, quick video to show you a makeup look. I was actually going to do it on my other personal page, but I figured I needed to be more engaged on this page because this is my beauty page. And so I need to come on here and do some more live videos. So hi guys, I haven't been here in a while. Hopefully you guys are doing good. And um wanted to show you real quick what I'm wearing. It's just a little uh, dress. <laughs> anyway, um, okay guys, so I wanted to do this video so I could show you some of the products that I have. Um, there's some Avon products. I'm not sure if you guys saw the other video that I did, but I did share um, that I was selling Avon again. So I just wanted to show you a makeup look that you could use some of the products that I received and also some other goodies. They don't have to be Avon, right? Um, anyway, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start, and we're gonna go ahead and start with this little thing right here. This actually is like a groomer. It helps you take off any eyebrow hairs, and as you can see, I have some eyebrow hairs here that I need to take off. So this is a must, and also one of these. If you guys don't have one of these, you definitely need to uh, get one. It's a magnified mirror. I love this thing. It really helps me out. Um, when I'm trying to, you know, take away all those eyebrow hairs, I'm going to pull my hair back. Anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and take away all these little eyebrow hairs. I just put a fresh battery on there, a new battery. And so that's why you hear it, it works really, really well with a new battery because um, I hadn't put one on like a new battery in a while and it was just not working the best. So I'm going to take off all these little eyebrow hairs. Like that. And hopefully we don't get any interruptions because every time I do these videos... I get interrupted. Somebody calls me, so hopefully we can get through it without anybody calling me or messaging me. Have that taken care of before you start applying um, any makeup because that really does make a difference on how smooth your makeup goes on. And I'm just going to do this little part right here just to make sure we don't have any little hairs right there. I already moisturized, I already went ahead, obviously it is, what, six something? Yeah, so I already did all my uh, washing of the face and moisturizer and stuff. I don't use primer, guys, because I don't like for it to break me out, so the next best thing for me to use is a moisturizer. I use the Up and Up, but I don't want to do that. I'll do that in another video. If you guys want to see a skincare video, I'll do that. But I do have several of those on my YouTube channel, so definitely check those out. Okay. So I wanted to show you, this is the foundation that I normally use. If you guys don't know or you guys haven't been following me for a while, this is a great foundation. This was actually recommended to me by an esthetician. And ever since I started uh, using this one, I have fewer, like I don't have any breakouts. So you can see right now my face is completely um, clean. So this is a great foundation in case um, you're needing one. The one I used to use before and I would get some occasional breakouts, but it's still really good, is the L'Oreal True Match. But this one... I haven't switched back ever since um, this one, but I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that you guys can go check out and see all the other different foundations and, and stuff like that that I've tried, okay? So, next thing I'm going to get is um, one of these sponges. I used to use the Beauty Blenders, guys. I tossed those all out. Um, I didn't like the way that they looked dirty and then you have to wash them and all. I, I don't like that. So anyway, um, these little beauty wedges are great because, you know, you just use them and you toss them and it just keeps your face so much cleaner, keeps you free from breakouts and stuff. So I'm using the color 122 and yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put some here on the back of my hand right here. And I'm going to use about that much and hopefully it's not too much because sometimes I put too much. <laughs> Okay, so we have this foundation right here. I'm gonna put some on my sponge because I don't want it to drip off my hand. I'm gonna put it all there, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some like this. I 
And usually what I start off with, guys, is my concealer. So I'm going to go get that right now before we go any further, okay? Okay, so you can see that that's a pretty good match to my skin. And then this is another good one. I am going to try to see if I can finish this one. But this is a fresher one, not a cleaner one, a, a better one. This is a brand new one. So this is in the lightest color. But we're going to go ahead and use this one because we need to use this one up. Okay, so we're going to put this one down here. And if you guys haven't tried this one, you definitely should. This is from Maybelline. And this is in the lightest shade. I had also purchased uh, the medium walk the medium one why can't I talk today the medium one a while back but I kind of like this one more so it just brightens up everything really really well okay so we're gonna put some here and we're gonna put some right here okay so there's that and we're just gonna go ahead and blend all that together And I love this foundation. It's really, really great. As you can see, it's a great match. I like doing these videos, guys. I like that you guys enjoy watching them. I usually do them more on my personal page. Um, but I need to start doing them here on this page. That's the reason why I created this page. So I'm sorry for not posting as much here. I try to post all my pictures or send them from my personal page over here. So I know I've neglected this page a lot. I just had a lot of things going on with my dad and stuff. I just haven't really been doing my makeup as much. So I need to work on this page more. So don't think, you know... I forgot it's just I've been super busy with so many things okay let me go get uh, another concealer because I wanted to show you that one right here this is um, one that I had purchased a while back and I had it there I, I like to have backups okay so anyway let's go ahead and put you down so this is uh, the concealer I wanted to show you this one is from Milani this is a really thick um, concealer but it's great for applying eyeshadows on top and it conceals all like the veins and everything on on your eye and stuff you just want to use this concealer on the eye area you don't want to use it anywhere around your face because it is really really thick and you don't want to clog a pore that's just some advice there for you okay this one is a lot um, nicer for under the eye especially for people who have mature skin like I do even though a lot of people tell me that I look like I'm still in my 30s I'm actually going to be 41 this year guys so okay for any uh lines underneath so this one's better for applying um on the eyelid And you can see how it covers really, really well. You see that? It's just a great concealer for applying eyeshadows. It's a little bit stickier. It actually has a scent to it. It's a pretty strong scent. It actually smells like paint. Um, the Milani one doesn't smell that way, okay? So we're gonna add whatever's left on that sponge up here. Okay, some people like to go right above here, like, you know, um, like cut out the eyebrows. I don't usually do that. I just put whatever's left on there. I just kind of just dab there. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this concealer down here because you can see that I'm getting a little bit of lines right here because I'm aging a little bit, guys. And so I like to add a little bit extra there. I like to do my foundation first before I do my eyeshadows. I know a lot of people like to do the eyeshadows first and then, but I like to do this step first. Okay. I'm sorry. My son is playing online with his friends and he's pretty loud. 
So this is a great brush to apply eyeshadows. This palette right here, this is from Too Faced. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that one. This is what it looks like. What the palette looks like. So we're going to go ahead and use these eyeshadows right here. Green. Um, you know, I like to make them match. Okay. So I'm going to use this one for sure because I really like those colors. And then I also brought out this one. And you can't get this one anymore. This one was, it's been out for a while. This is from Stila. But I wanted to use the blue ones. Look at how pretty those blue ones are. And it also has some blushes there. Not sure if I'm going to use the blushes, but those are really, really pretty. So anyway, I want to use some of those blues and probably some gray because it is a little bit more of a nighttime look. I really never planned these videos, guys, so hopefully it comes out good, okay? Anyway, guys, we don't want this thing to crease anymore, so we're going to go ahead and dab that part out. Okay. So I went ahead and took out these brushes. These brushes came in the Anastasia kit. They're really, really great. They're great for blending. I love these brushes. Some of the other brushes that I like to use are the ones from like the Wet n Wild ones. These are pretty cheap. You can find them like at the Dollar Tree. That's where I usually find them. Um, they're a dollar, so that's great. And then some of the other ones that I like to use are from e.l.f. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen those, but if not, I'll go ahead and try to see. Or you guys can go check out my YouTube channel. I have some um, videos on some of the brushes that I like to use. But they're from e.l.f. and they're like really cheap. They're like a dollar. So anyway. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and use this one first. And we're going to go ahead and use this one because I really like the transition shades that are in here. They're like a mauve color. I kind of wanted a gray, so I'm probably gonna pick one color from here, and the one that's standing out to me is this one right here. This one's really, really pretty. I love this one. And then I'm probably gonna layer it with a gray. So we'll see how that goes, because you don't have to just use one transition shade. Um, you can use two, you know? I do it sometimes, so let me show you that. Let me see if I can find a nice gray probably going to find it in the Stila palette because this one doesn't have a gray. So let me see if the Stila palette has one. If not, I'm going to have to find another. It has this like, I'm not sure how dark it's going to be, but there's this gray right here. It looks like it might be a little bit dark. And I think that's about the only one that I, it's got a little bit of a shine to it. So that one might not work. Let me see. We don't want the transition shade to have any shine, and that one seems to have a little bit of shine. So, let me try this one. This is more like a gray brown. That one, that one's pretty too. We'll see. Okay guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I remember why I don't do these videos. I don't do these videos because I need a tech. I, my phone uncharged. I should have charged it. I trusted my charger to charge with the computer and it didn't work. And so that's why you guys get disconnected. Then I tried three different chargers to see if it would work and none of them would work. And I had a bunch of wires going all over the place. If you were to see my desk right now, it's a mess. So, I'm hoping we can finish this. <laughs> I'm sorry for disconnecting you. Hopefully you guys can find me back. Okay, let's just finish and hopefully we can finish <sighs> on a good note, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take this sponge. I know I was telling you about the eyeliner, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the sponge just to clean up um, the under eye area. And we're gonna go ahead and sharpen up this side right here, just with that wedge. That's why I like these wedges because it helps clean up really, really well. So you see, it just makes that line show up right there, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do this side right now, and we're gonna just don't do, don't like tug really, really hard, just um, use that edge to clean up. So don't tug at your skin, okay? So there's that. So thanks for coming back, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
I'm sorry. It was my chargers. They just disconnected me. I'm really, really sorry. Okay. So I'm glad you're back. Hi. <laughs> my bad. Okay. So I was showing you guys the eyeliners. So I have these two eyeliners from Avon. I have these right here. There's the purple one and the black one. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do the one in the white line. Um, I'm sure they have blues and stuff like that, but this is what I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the purple one because I really, really like it. And because this is such a dramatic look, either way, why not, right? So there's that purple. It's better than the black. Um, I really like this one more than the black, but the black is good. You can even mix them up if you wanted to. But there's that purple. And I really like the way that one looks. So we're going to take some of this black one just so you guys can see how it works. And I'm going to put it up here like if it was... I do have the liquid liner, but I'm not the best with the liquid liner. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this one up here. I personally like to use um, this one and then put like a shadow on top just to soften it up. But I don't want to do too much. I'll just do just a straight up black. So we're going to do this one. This one's pretty pigmented. It's pretty good. I've always loved Avon eyeliners. The eyeliners and the lipsticks. You can see. It has pretty good pigmentation and staying power. That's how that looks. To do a small little wing. Like that. Okay, so that's what the eyes are going to look like. Okay, so we're going to move on from there. I'm finally done with my eyes. So it does take a long time, guys. Especially when you haven't planned it. So I, I never plan these videos. So we're going to go ahead and um, use the sponge and we're going to take... Where is it? So I have two products here. I have um, this one from Avon, which is a blush. And this is in the nude color. Okay. So let me show you. This is what the packaging looks like. Okay. And it looks like this. And let me just swatch it here for you. So there's that pink color, like nudie pink color. Then I have this one from Milk. I really, really like this one too. This one's um, in a, um, I think it's Blushing Rose or something. It's a little bit more pink. But we're going to go ahead and do the Avon one. Okay. So we're going to take this sponge right here because it is um, like a cream consistency and we're going to go ahead and add this and this one's just a soft color you can see how that makes you we're going to add some right here so we got that color going on I'm going to try to go as fast as I can guys I'm going to go ahead and take this soft and gentle from MAC and I'm going to use the edge of this uh, wet and wild brush and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight right here and I didn't set the foundation because I want it to be glowy so there's that highlight you can add some up here and some up here like that I brought some different colored lipsticks I brought this one this is from Urban Decay it's just a dark brown and I'm going to go ahead and use it to line the outside. And then I'm probably going to add this pinky color from Milani. So we're going to do that. Start with this one. The dark color. Like that. And then we're going to add this one in the center. Ugh, I just messed it up. Everything that you can imagine has gone wrong. <laughs> we're just going to go with it. I'm not even going to get angry anymore. It's taking me so long to do this video. Everything has gone wrong. 
and I'm hoping we can finish it. So there's that color. Okay, I could do a bronzer. Um, we're gonna do this one right here. This is from e.l.f. I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen this product, but it's compared to the uh, NARS one, the Orgasm, I believe. I don't know what it's called. I, I don't remember, guys. I think that's what it's called. So that's the blush that they compare to the Orgasm one um, from NARS. But this is e.l.f. And then I'm gonna use uh, this bronzer. This bronzer is really, really good. So we're gonna add some of that. I haven't been doing any contouring lately or any bronzer, so it does make a difference. Slims down the face. I used to use this product all the time before, but I just haven't done it anymore. But I should. I don't know why I've been sleeping on this. <laughs> I need to be using this more. It makes me look slimmer. So I'm just going to go around the face a little. Like that. I'm going to do a little bit here. A little bit there. Okay. Okay guys, so I think that's it. I think I'm done. I'm hoping that you guys will like the makeup look. I liked it. I could go an extra step and actually add some lip gloss. I have different uh, ones to choose from. This one is from Victoria's Secret. Both of them are from Victoria's Secret. This one's a little bit lighter and this is a little bit more orangey. I think I'm gonna go with the orangey one. I really do like this one probably better but just for the sake of the video I'm gonna add the lip gloss hopefully you guys liked the makeup look I hope you did because you don't know everything I went to through to get this filmed I'm gonna put it up on my YouTube channel and I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because I had so many things go wrong okay guys so that is the makeup look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry for all the interruptions. It wasn't my fault. It was my charger's fault. It was my phone's fault. Más vale que me saque mi marido. That's all I have to say. Okay, so there is the look. Now, you know, to each their own, you could set this makeup look, I'm not going to set it. I like the glowy look. I think it looks a lot prettier as the time passes. Like within an hour or two, it's going to look even more uh, dewy and it's going to look really, really pretty. I really like it. Um, but I could show you how I could top that nude um, blush from Avon. I really, really do like it, guys. It just gives like a subtle color. I really like it a lot. But if you wanted to take it a little bit further, you could add one of these e.l.f. blushes on top. You could probably do a little bit of both of these and just, you know, if you don't like the whole um, dewy look, you could seal it with this. So we could just add a little bit more color. You, you just barely need to tap it because e.l.f. is so pigmented. I've had this for a long time and it's just... I mean, you could do that. You really don't need it, though. I like it the other way, but if you wanted to, you could do that. And smile. And we said we were done, and we're still not done. <laughs> do the highlight one more time. We're going to use the edge of the brush, and we're just going to add it right there and highlight. I always like to do my makeup in the car because I feel like there's natural lighting and you know exactly what you're going to look like, but we're going to do it like that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry for all the interruptions. <laughs> anyway, um, I still have all these grays coming through. <laughs> look at how much I got coming in. I got a lot of gray coming in guys, but I'm still going to be that uh, sexy uh, 
older lady with the makeup and everything. Hold on, let me pick it up. So that's what I got so far, guys. This is about five months in. This month will be six months. So I got my mom's lunar. She passed it down. So I got that going on. But that's okay. We just part it on this side and it doesn't show as much. Once it starts growing out, it's going to look really pretty. I'm pretty sure. Right now I'm just trying to embrace it as much as I can. But yeah, we got all those grays coming in. It's going to look like highlights, guys, in my hair. You can see. Anyway, we're just going to bring that down. You don't need to see that. It's all about the makeup look. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys like these kind of makeup looks, I'm going to try to do them more on my beauty channel, guys. I try doing them here, but I need to be concentrated on my beauty channel over there because that's the only way that it'll probably pay me to do these kind of videos. And if I do them on my personal page, it's... It's for fun, but it's not um, creating any revenue for me. So I need to try to, you know, start working more a little bit on my beauty channel. I linked it in my timeline so you guys can go check it out. It's just under Regina Crystal. You guys can find it there. And if not, you can find all my videos on YouTube. Um, yeah. If you guys want to purchase any Avon products that I, you know, showed you guys on here, like the... Like the mascara, the mascara was really good. I already showed you how that applied. The eyeliner, this is the black one. This is the purple one. That one's really good too. The nude um, blush is really good. <sighs> yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.